So in this session, we will study how to write the assembly language program to perform the sign multiplication of a two eight bit or a two 16 bit numbers. The sign multiplication can be performed using the mnemonics IMUL SRC. So in case of a eight bit multiplication, if two eight bit data are involved in multiplication, then one of the operand is impiled to be in AL register and other operand SRC can be a 8-bit location or a 8-bit register. The result is stored in AX register. To take an example, IMUL BL. The value of AL is F2, the value of BL is 09H. If you see this F2H, in F2H, the MSB is 1. Now we are saying the MSB is 1. We have to write the binary equivalent of this F2. If you write the binary equivalent of F2, if you write the binary equivalent of this F2, so you will take this number F2, F2, H. H is the hexadecimal number. So what is the binary of this? 1, 1 and for 2 it is 0, 0, 1, 0. So if you take this MSB bit here, so this is the MSB bit. And here the MSB bit is equal to 1. So the MSB bit is equal to 1. If MSB is 1, then we have to treat this number as the negative number, which is in 2's complement form. So this number is treated as, treated as a negative number. This number is treated as a negative number. So we have to go with the, which is the two's complement. We know how to represent the negative number. So using the two's complement form, we can able to represent a negative number. To get the actual number, in order to get this actual number, what we have to do, we have to find the two's complement. We have to find the two's complement. So we are going to take the two's complement of F2. So we are going to take the two's complement of F2. F2. So which is nothing but 0e. Nothing but 0e. So if you see the execution part here, so if you see the logic behind this I M U will. So now this F2 is nothing but the two's complement number. So what is the two's complement of F2? We have taken as 0e. So we have to take the product. The product is nothing but minus because we know the number is a negative number. So we have to go with minus sign. Then we have to write 0e. We are going to multiply with 09h. If the result after multiply, we will be getting the result as minus 7e. Again, if you see the result here, here the result is what a negative number. If the result is a negative number, once again we have to find what the two's complement of this minus e. So the two's complement of this 7e is nothing but FFA2. So what is the result in AX now? FFA2H. So first we have to check the MSB of the number and here the MSB is equal to 1. So we have to treat this number as a negative number. We know the negative number using a 2's complement form. We have can able to represent a negative number. To get the actual number, we have to find the 2's complement of this F2, which is nothing but 0e. So when you're computing this IMUL, we have to take the product, okay, the value of AL multiplied with BL. So what is here? It is 0e. We know the number is a negative number. So you're going with minus sign, minus 0e multiplied with o 0a. The result here is minus 7e, which is the negative number. For this negative number, we have to find the 2's complement. We move on to the next slide. So this is the program. So we have to take the number here. We have taken the first number as F2, the second number as 09. 
we know if two numbers are multiplied and that will be of byte the product it will be of a word so we have taken a label product define word a question mark just we have to go with the code segment assume ds is data and cs is a code we are taking the first number num1 is nothing but f2h that will be assigned to al the second number is assigned to bl we are going with what assign multiply so we have to take i m u l b l so we know that the product will be in a x from that we are moving to the label product at last we have to end the program using move a h comma 4 c h and int 21 h and end the code segment and end of the main program so what is the difference when compared to the unsigned multiply so unsigned multiply it won't check the msb of the data it will take all the number as a positive number but in case of i m u l it will consider it will check the msb if the msb is equal to 1 the number is treated as what negative and we know after typing the program we have to save the program with the extension of dot asm we have to go with the macro assembler so we have to write masm a file name dot asm semicolon then followed by that we have to go for linking so we have to use the link the file name dot obj semicolon then we have to execute the program using debug a file name dot exe once everything is done we have to give your u u is nothing but unassembling at last we have to go with the program st from starting address to the end value so g is equal to 0 0 the starting address followed by the end address of your int 21 h what is the end address of the int 21 h it is 0 0 1 3 so we know that this is the code segment colon offset okay this value we should take 0 0 1 3 after that we can able to see all the register value present in 8086 followed by the flag register we know that in case of multiplication the two flags are affected one is the overflow another one is the carry flag then we are going to display the data segment so data segment colon the offset so this is the address of the data segment here the address of data segment is 076a so we know here we have taken two number the first number is what f2 the second number is 09 if these two numbers are multiplied we have to get the result as ff a2 a2 and 82 is what the lsb of the number and msb is ff thank you all